Ah, Scratter. Glad you could come. You've probably come about uh, this, I think. It's the last copy, I'm afraid, but that's why you're here, isn't it? Eh? You're going to publish some more of these. Well, well, well. Um, so I have it, and of course, Mr. Scratter, I have the rights. Yes, I, I paid Mr. Blimfield for them. Um, uh, the, the, the author has no interest in it whatsoever. He has no interest in this at all. And in fact, set fire to the original manuscript. Burnt it on top of Salisbury Hill. Blimfield was there, he told me. It was a, a sorry business, I think. He, uh, he obviously decided he wanted nothing more to do with it. Blimfield, on the other hand, was convinced that this was a masterpiece. Well, <laughs> he would think that, wouldn't he? But unfortunately, as I say, there's only one left. <laughs> but that's why you're here. Um, so, you and uh, your partner, Mr. Pomache, uh, are going to... Uh, front the money and republish this excellent and I think probably highly sought after book. Um, what do you think about a, a bite of lunch, eh? We're not dealing with any old rubbish here. Blimfield was convinced that this was publishing dynamite. Now, I'm not saying Blimfield was right or wrong. Blimfield <laughs> as you know. But, however, this is the secret stuff about the origins of Bath. Forget all that Jane Austen, Mimsy, Pimsy nonsense. When people read about this, they'll understand. Need I say more than... <laughs> crowd funding? What, what sort of a thing is this? Uh, I was expecting a, you know, a reasonable discussion between gentlemen publishers, obviously, and, uh, and then you give me the money and I give you the rights and, um, and you... <laughs> Publish the book. Uh, perfectly straightforward. It's the way it's always been done in this business. Well, nearly always. I'm sorry, the internet? It seems exceedingly unlikely and also not very gentlemanly, if I may say so. Are we going to have lunch? This sort of literature, this kind of game-changing, life-altering literature. He rewrote it. He rewrote it at great length and great depth and it's a superlative piece of... I bought it from Blimfield for a fairly considerable sum of money, and uh, quite honestly, Scratter, you and I are going to have to make a fair bit to, uh, to, to cover the cost of that. Now, look, I've got the manuscript. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. You're going to publish it, and apparently we have to get this money from the, <laughs> the internet. Chip in some money, and um, from my point of view, it'd be jolly good if you could get on with it, you know, sooner <laughs> rather than later. And you have to go to, um, this. Know what I mean?